Because you know there's always a dark side to every story. Uh, in Egyptian mysteries, they always had the, the deities of the moon and of the, what they would call the uh, the shadow hour, and then they would have the deities of the sun, or what they would call the the uh, sun cycle. And don't think that because they left all this wealth that they didn't leave a security system is all I want to really point out here. Um, when you first get into this thing, you have to come in as a sovereign. I mean, that's just the bottom line. You have to let go of your identity in the matrix. And you think, and they give you pseudo gifts to see what you would settle with. And I'm just going to explain one scenario um, that could happen to you. And that, you know what I'm saying, happened to many sovereigns or whatever. But you're going to get into it with what's called homicide. That's the first thing they're going to try to do to you. They're going to put their homicide people on you and try to write you off as being dead. And the only way that you will really be able to defend that is by having enough wealth and security as collateral against their little homicide thing that they're going to try to do against you. And it may come in as a relationship. Don't think homicide is always violent. I know you're like, what are you talking about? Oh, yeah, they declare war on you. Of course, when you become a sovereign, but that's just the first level of getting into the mysteries and trying to discover wealth or rediscover our wealth. So the first thing they're going to do, and I just want to point that out because you got many people like, well, it's all this wealth. I'm just going to steal it and take it. And they think that that's being a devil. <laughs> the devil is much more craftier than that. If he was going to do anything, he wouldn't touch it, period. And your, your ignorance and rebellion is all that it really is. It has nothing to do with you being able to infiltrate this system, though. You can be as strong as you want and as ignorant as a thuggish and a fool and think you're going to just infiltrate and take over this thing and be destroyed because it's a spiritual security system attached to it. And the only way to really essentially fight in this measure is, is that you're going to be actually balancing and fighting with the forces of nature. They call them the Nitiru in this, in this order. And the Nitiru... I talked about them many times is going to be your foe and this is nature this is your foe and you can use once and once you balance with nature you can begin to use the forces of nature as a weapon so that when you're physically attacked by people that are being controlled by negative forces of nature you'll have weapons to protect you on various different levels though we talk about weaponry because some of them are physical handheld weapons that you may have been born with that you don't know that need to be activated you may need a deep akashic record reading to even know what's in you and figure that out you know what i'm saying but a lot of us were born with weapons i'll give you an example there are people right now walking around with octagons inside of their body it's a weapon they don't even know they have it and a lot of times if it goes unused it'll turn into some form of a cancer or cysts or, or a heart and some form of heart and mucus even around it. And the doctors will just say, oh, you got this and that, and we got to take this out of you. They're not telling you what's in you. This is serious. I'm getting into some secrets of the medical industry. So in my travels of studying the number 13 and the fucus, I was able to stumble upon a lot of this information. But I just want to point that out because, you know, you always got that mind out there that thinks that they can just take over and steal things because i mean they're even on the female side i mean there's this is deep and on the male side i mean anything you want once you move into this mystery system you could change your image change you know what i'm saying like you, you get your woman you can teach her how to do it and any type of woman how you however you want her to look serious you could transform your image over a period of time though of course we're talking 20, 30 years, you know what I'm saying? Like, at some point, to get through a mystery system, even 40 years a lot of time, to fully get through it, you're like, well, I'm going to be old by then. See, that's what I'm saying. That's the programming that you have to break out of. But don't think that it's not a security system and that you're not protected at some point, but you are being tested when you go through these type of high-level initiations and rituals. And um, I really just want to point that out because I just know it's that mind out there that feels they can conquer and take over, which is a part of our nature because we don't like instability or unorganized 
uh, society. So there's that mind out there is like, I'm going to do this and do that. But it's a full measure of security, man. Even the love, I call it the love index or the love force. You may not even be able to defeat that. And this is deeper than your love uh, between your mother and father or your love for your wife or I'm talking about as a weapon that's it coded into the nature of this planet. When you start moving into these levels of initiation, yeah, you're going to get access to be able to to free yourself and other people and, and be able to access a large amounts of money, but each level is a test.